All right, everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Out here in the garage today, we're gonna go over mud rings. And what mud rings are, are these guys right here. So if you are not familiar, um, let me back up a second. So when you're doing residential or something like that, you have some tabs on the sides of the box. This is not one with tabs on the sides of the box. But basically, when you do residential, the box sticks out as far as you want it to. Um, so if you were doing like half inch sheetrock, three quarter sheetrock, this is the scenario that would use. Um, you would have the box sticking out this far. You would nail it in on the sides with the nails on it, and then you would be done. But in commercial, um, as you can see, this box is flush right here. You can't really see that actually, but trust me, it's flush with the stud. So to get your box, um, your screw holes for your device, you install these, which are called mud rings. Um, so if you want a single gang device, um, a single like switch or uh, receptacle, duplex receptacle, um, depending on whatever you put in it, basically just screw this on there. I can't, it's not loose enough, but anyways, you go ahead and you put that on there and then you're good to go. Um, so this one right here, it looks like it's about a half an inch to three quarter. Um, if you needed a deeper one because of sheetrock depth, if it was um, two layers of sheetrock, then you'd need an inch and a quarter one. So there are different depths. There are flat ones, half inch, three quarter, one inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half. You get the picture. There's also adjustable ones, which are really cool. Um, so you can, um, there's a couple screws on the inside that the whole um, mud ring will um, suck in or out depending on how you tighten it. Uh, so that's very cool. So these are for your um, single switches, um, duplex receptacles, whatever you wanna use this for. If you're just doing one device, you would just simply screw that on just like that, tighten your screws down. Um, and obviously some people aren't gonna know this. So you want to hang the mud ring with the holes on the top. Uh, basically you'll see the little hooks in that way, when gravity comes around, you let go, it's gonna just hang there. If you install this upside down, the incorrect way, you gotta let go. Oh, there it goes. So you always wanna have it hanging on the hooks. That is gonna be the correct way right there. Just tighten it down. So once again, here is the singles. If you are doing a light switch, or not a light switch, if you're doing a light mud ring, for a light, um, these are gonna have 832 holes right here. Um, so be aware of that, but it's also gonna be in a circle. Um, so depending on the light, you're gonna wanna check on the light itself, um, which way the screw holes are gonna need to be. That's something you need to actually be aware of. If the screw holes need to be this way to screw in the uh, light, or if you need to screw in the uh, light vertically, then you need to put the screw holes up and down. So that is um, how to do that. Uh, but also there, like I said, there is different sheetrock depths. So this one right here is, I'd probably say three quarter on this one. This is the same exact design without the little marks here in the center, but this is the same exact um, two gang mud ring right here. If you're doing like two receptacles, two light switches, this one is an uh, inch deep and this one right here is your three quarter. So it is a lot deeper as you can see right there the difference on that so that is how you deal with that situation if you are having two layers of sheetrock or something like that you just get a, a deeper mud ring and that is the end of the picture some of them um, have straight pieces on top um, and it's the same idea you're going to want to put the straight piece on top and then have the hook on the bottom so when you let go it just hangs there by itself if you're running into like a pancake situation like this where um, you need to screw something onto the stud and there's a deeper sheetrock, then you can go ahead and probably just grab one of these boxes right here um, and hopefully that will get you, get you to where you need to be um, if it's really deep. But anyways, um, if not, you can also cut like a little piece of wooden circle like this ply, not plywood, but whatever this is called, I forget. You can cut a little circle out or a little square, put it behind there as a shim to extend it off of the stud and then match your sheetrock depth to whatever it is. So hopefully that gives you a little bit, a little, a little idea of how mud rings are used, how to install them, um, all that good stuff. So 
Anyways, thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it. That is the commercial side of how to install the mud rings, um, all that good stuff. Hopefully this video was useful and helpful if you guys are new to commercial or if you're wondering how it is done with metal boxes, you install the mud rings on to get your devices, the screw holes for your devices um, to install later after sheetrock. So Anyways, that's it. Thanks, guys, for watching. I appreciate it. As always, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I will see you guys back in the next one. Going back to work tomorrow because I am so bored. Uh, me and Steven are going back to work on Thursday, tomorrow, and Friday to end out the year. Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow. God bless. Peace.